we just zeroed six different players back to back in rise of kingdoms and in today's video we're gonna go over each of the cities that were burned from the weakest player all the way up to the strongest player and there's a little bit of a plot twist at the end of the video where i go over everything but first what's going on guys cheers at the time of recording this we're so close to hitting 70,000 subscribers that you actually might be the 70,000th so make sure you go down there double check to see if you're subbed and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps me out a ton like and comments help with the algorithm but also sometimes I do little hidden secret live streams over on Twitch so if you guys didn't know that I have a Twitch that's going to be in the description as well the only way you'll know if I go live is if you follow me on Twitch and also join my discord link will be in the description below okay now let's take a look at the weakest player we ended up zeroing this is a player who goes the name of Apollo 21 you can see that they're 56 million power with only 55 million kill points and you might think well on New York that I mean that sounds like he's almost kind of zeroed already like 56 million is not that much power but as you can see if we take a look at the scout report you'll notice that he doesn't have that many resources but his city garrison is pretty weak I mean it's not even a maxed YSG nor is it a maxed Boudicca Prime but furthermore you'll notice that this player has no T5 units he has 3.1 million units in his city and so if he's sitting at 56 million power I mean he's still got a lot of troops that we can kill off so we're going to go ahead and do that it's also worth noting that they have no reinforcements in the city or anything like that so this should be pretty much a breeze of course the YSG could hurt a little bit because it is circular AOE so if you are going to swarm down a city that has three million troops in it you probably don't want to take those initial rounds of AOE skill damage but anyway you'll see the rally from burger touches immediately I think this is yes this is an Attila Takeda rally we were playing around with a few different city rallying combos Attila with Takeda is a tried and true combination here of course they did just get a relic in Rise of Kingdoms if you missed that go ahead and take a look in your museum in game you'll see that they are both live and the Takeda relic is quite nice because you do get extra health for your cavalry which is I mean there's so many stats on Takeda already I think it's 40 percent attack 40 percent defense so that's 80 percent of stats already on top of that 10 percent health is like insane so having a double relic here for both of these or a relic I should say level one relic on both of these commanders makes this a really strong city rally as it's always been and you could see after just a single rally he's already down to 48 million power I mean the white numbers are just insane and here we see 48 million and then once it is over with the swarms and everything we could see he's down to 46.5 million power so a single rally with swarms wiped out 10 million power from this player immediately which is honestly insane especially considering that it was all tier four units and here players continue to swarm down the city not sure if that's a great idea but like based on the health bars it seems like people aren't really taking that much damage so I mean hey it's probably fine also yeah we don't need a rally here you could see completely melted uh this player is yeah I mean when it's full of tier four and it's not even max tech because he doesn't have t5 units like you know that really just a single rally is all it's going to take and then all the resources our are basically ours at this point because he first of all didn't have that many to steal to begin with but yeah at this point you could see just a handful of players swarming this player city down and that's pretty much all she wrote boys a final power of 44 million so in total about a 12 million power drop from just a t4 player alone that's kind of crazy I forgot what Attila's relic was here taking three percent less skill damage and five percent more defense I mean this combo just got a little bit more tanky which I really do like especially for city hits now unfortunately I don't have the battle report from that city but based on the number of troops that he had he took about 2.6 million dead troops from that quick like four minute exchange and as you saw he lost about 12 million power so you can imagine that 10 million of it was from deads the rest of it is for his hospital moving on to the next city that got zeroed we have a player who goes by the name of boogie boy we have 59.5 million power with 193 million kill points so just slightly more powerful than the previous entry on this list and you'll have to excuse me for the aspect ratio but this one I actually filmed on my iPhone so you're gonna see that there's a this massive uh this massive gap down here but anyway here's the scout report you could see over a hundred million of each resource except for the 50 million gold and you can see that this player does kind of have a proper garrison it's a five 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 three Zenobia which not maxed out but still decent for a city wall and we have a five 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 three Charles Martel 
Hotel. Also, pretty solid choice for a city garrison. Now, here we can learn a couple of things. First of all, this is a tier five player, which means that as you can see, he only has a million units. So even though his power is a little bit higher than the first person that we zeroed, they don't have as many units to lose because some of them are tier five. We also can learn that this player is using the Byzantium civilization for some reason. Not that it's a horrible choice for a cavalry main, but definitely not the most meta pick, I would say. But anyway, you can see Burgers Rally coming in here once again with Attila and Takeda. This is just going to decimate this player city. Um, a little bit of a better, a little bit of a better garrison than a YSG Boudicca Prime but at the end of the day uh it, there's just no i mean this is burgers rally boys if you don't know anything about kingdom 1568 you don't want to be taking a rally from burger okay anyway as you can see players start to swarm him down and that's pretty much gg as you can tell by the marker people were not listening but they decided to swarm anyway it's not like he had many resources to steal right like 100 million anyway from this point forward he's down to 55 million power so a lot of his troops went to the hospital and now everyone's just going to swarm this dude down and that's pretty much much going to be it for good old boogie boy over here after all is said and done he's down to 54.7 million power really not that much power loss here on this dude like what one 1.5 moving on to the next player that we zeroed we have none other than big smoke too i don't know if that was supposed to say big smoke but definitely a misspelling there they are at 68.3 million power and as you can see i actually started recording the zeroing a little bit late you can see that they are actually already on fire their highest power ever was 80 something million but I don't think we actually started zeroing them at in their 80 millions in fact here's the battle report that I missed that occurred before I hit the start recording button and as you can see here they actually lost 5.4 million power from a single Attila Nevsky so like I said before we were testing out different city rallying combos a lot of times it was Attila Takeda sometimes we did Attila Nevsky sometimes we did Attila Justinian to see which one would be the best and here you can see that we lost 1.5 million on our side and 5.4 million on their side and as you can see here this is zero sev wounds so they must have at least gotten hit one time before this right because they don't I mean their hospital is already full by the time we're taking 5.4 million power away from them okay we are seeing a YSS Zenobia which typically you would see a Zenobia primary not sure what the strategy is there perhaps they are assuming that the leadership tree is better for a city garrison rather than the infantry tree from Zenobia maybe that was their strat there but they have almost a million dead troops from a single rally which is insane you can see the kill point trade on both sides here and just to be clear we were filling these rallies with farm troops so all these deads were complete like the throwaway units it doesn't even matter whereas this player's actual city is getting zeroed so before this rally they would have been 73 million power something like that and and assuming we did one more rally before that they were probably at like 78 so I mean maybe they were at their highest power ever I don't know like I said I was offline when they started the zeroing but here you can see the rally comes in once again from burger this is what appears to be I think Attila Nevsky again we'll find out from the skill shots here but yeah this is at least the second if not the third rally on this player city and still at a 68 million power point which is quite insane obviously they had no idea that this zeroing was going to occur they're not online they're not taking these uh these rallies on purpose clearly they took almost a million deads from the last rally here so as you can see that uh that nevsky those skill shots hit man it is just absolutely clapping their cheeks ladies and gentlemen Cl cheeks are being clapped at this very moment and man those white numbers hitting 31k oh my god ladies and gentlemen let's see this hit ready and bop 153 oh got him oh gotcha bitch. oh man anyway he's getting zeroed man he's getting you you know it i know it everyone knows it okay this dude is not coming online this dude has no idea the devastation that is currently occurring uh in his city okay so big smoke two or big smo uk to uh whatever your name is supposed to be this mother is deaded okay he is absolutely donezo he is done dead i don't even know if we rally him again after this but oh they starting to swarm they're starting to swarm he's still in the 60 millions i'm not sure if that's a great strategy and there was the last skill shot fired you can see the player is down to 63 million power so at a minimum they are down at least 10 million power at this point depending on how many rallies were before that could be as high as maybe 15 million power loss so far again probably wasn't a great strat to swarm 
near the end there but they just wanted to sneak in a couple of resources that they could steal from the boy okay here we can see the second rally report from big smoke two and another over 5 million power loss 948 million deads on their side absolute destruction and 8.5 million of each resource stolen looted yeeted and deleted yoink that is ours thank you very much big smoke here we can see the units that are left in the city and lots of tier 5 infantry so if this player was an infantry main which it does seem to be the case that that is a majority of what they have in fact i don't see any tier five from any other troop type which maybe they were killed off in previous rallies who knows but that means that he probably had mostly infantry and if that's the case why not do the zenobia primary i mean like i don't know if you're gonna have zenobia built for city garrisons you're probably not even gonna go in into the infantry tree anyway so maybe i'm just an idiot maybe maybe there is maybe yss primary is meta for city garrisons i have no idea because if you guys didn't know you shouldn't be taking city rallies anyway so my knowledge on what is the best city garrison it's not that i'm not that proficient in that strategy because the best strategy is don't do it okay don't take a city rally like that's, that's pretty much all, all i gotta say about that so anyway oh looks like they're taunting your boy for sleeping they're just like look this is what happens when you're offline you just you just get zeroed man we have another attila rally coming in from our boy burger yeah this is going to be pretty much gg okay this is going to be gg um here you can see we got 24 20 000, the white numbers Ooh, 45 white numbers looking real good here and let's see the justinian clap we got 71k from the justinian hit so not as high as we saw from the from the nevsky which is a little bit interesting because in theory justinian should hit harder 72k uh, maybe I maybe they had a proc of the ring or something like that I have no idea no idea why why Nevsky would have hit harder than Justinian on the previous rally but I'm also an idiot so that could be uh that could be it I it's gonna be obvious to you watching and you're gonna comment it down below and I'll be like oh yeah that makes sense so anyway here we can see that um this is the Attila Justinian and it's a slow burn we're going through it he's he's getting burned boys he's getting zeroed you know it I know it I mean come on like what's he gonna what's he gonna log in now right like was it, it doesn't, doesn't even matter at this point like it's already ogre okay it's already ogre it's already shrek too baby like come on man this is it so he's down to 60 million power here already and in just a second we're gonna see a couple people just start swarming there it is down to 59 million the swarms are coming in ladies and gentlemen they just want to get his loot they said siri play give me the loot by Iggy smalls that was pretty much how this went down and uh that's it city is burning once again down to 58.4 million after that most recent rally unfortunately i did not get that last battle report but we can see that another rally is once again coming in on the city and we've got what is this attila with a takeda we went back to takeda for this one and this is pretty much going to be i think the last rally that we actually do on this player city it's kind of pointless at this point because he does have so few troops left so many of them have been killed off literally millions of troops at this point have been killed by these attila rallies attila it's crazy that attila with takeda still such a dominant city rallying combo it's just such a slow burn man it just really create those dead numbers oh those dead numbers just get real high when you got that attila takeda combo especially now with the double relic now i actually think that burger funny enough even though burger is probably the biggest whale in our kingdom i think he ran out of uh coins for the relics so i actually don't think he has the takeda relic for any of these rallies but you can see there down to 54.8 million power 54.5 million power pretty much gonna be gg i mean there's a little bit of swarming left to do here gonna take some of the resources uh but that's pretty much it we got pop a little king skill to swarm them down for the rest of it and that's gonna be uh that's gonna be it here we have the swarm squad coming in here just fully committing to bringing this player down to absolutely nothing absolute zero absolute no just no troops like we revoked your privilege to have troops that's basically what happened here and as you can see uh the the troop having pass has been acquired this player uh is in the process of losing the final few troops that they had on their account this is quite the devastating uh occurrence you do not want to see players like this storming your city um these are some giga chad players it's it's uh it's it's a wrap it's gg it's 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 lit okay 
it's lit this dude is this dude is going down so a couple more swarms later and that's pretty much it 52.7 million power and again those kill points Ooh, those kill points oh my god ladies and gentlemen so we lost between like 25 and 30 million power something like that from uh from those rallies so absolute destruction here from uh from good old big smoke two moving on to our next victim we have alberto x 31 now remember big smoke was 68 million power when i hit the record button when we started to zero him maybe he was a higher power than alberto not really sure i can't confirm it so i'm putting alberto after him even though big smoke probably had more power than him so maybe i messed up the order for this video i don't know my apologies but anyway we've got alberto over here 73.6 million power not even 100 million kill points like not even 100 mil that's kind of crazy if i'm being honest with you like that's i don't even know how that's possible how did we get here what happened i i have no clue but as you can see that power level is about to change when you see burger city right next to you looking like this like this menacing like nah nah bro it's ogre okay it is all ogre there's nothing you're, you're you're donezo okay especially if you're offline taking a look at the scout report we can see that this player is a bit juicy ladies and gentlemen 300 million of food and wood 548 million stone and 341 million gold so actually some decent loot to be acquired and it is sitting behind the defensive powerhouse known as Guan Yu Alexander and if you guys don't know that was a joke Guan Yu Alexander is one of the worst things that you could have on your wall I okay that's not true there's way worse things you could have but a lot of like Alexander the Great's kit only works on the map right like some of his skills literally he has to be on the map for it to do anything so putting him on your wall is horrible it's just not a good strategy also what about this combo is tanky also what about this combo suggests that it's good for mixed units absolutely nothing okay there is nothing about this combination that is good for a city garrison they have 2.6 million units in their city and there are I mean almost all of them are tier five units you can see we have over a million t5 cabs we have 812,000 tier five infantry and 411,000 tier five archers I have no idea why this player would have less than 100 million kill points I mean they can fill out a five army lineup I mean they might have you know older commanders based on Guan Yu Alex on the ball here to be honest with you guys but like in reality this should be I mean you should be getting you know more than more kill points than he's got let's just keep let's just keep it at that let's keep it simple okay so anyway and we're off ladies and gentlemen we have the Attila with who is it this time did we do Takeda or did we do something fancy did we do Justinian I don't remember let's find out in just a second and there's the Takeda so here is the first rally coming in on Alberto's city and yes there is in fact aoe from guan yu whoever put that marker thank you for that um you don't want to stand next to it i know guan alex is not a great uh not a great choice for your city you know for your city garrison but a 2000 damage factor aoe with that many tier 5 units in the city it still is going to hit you pretty hard and he's already down look at that already down to 65.8 million power so if you were wondering for a second just a second if guan alex was going to do anything on the wall there's your answer boys you could see his kill points I, I mean this is crazy okay this is just it's a pathetic garrison it is absolutely uh just there is your, your garrison is empty basically you have no garrison that there's just nothing here for you okay so it is what it is people start throwing it down because they're like what what do you get look at look at the white numbers look look at this an epic cpo only took 708 like brother this is disgusting okay it's disgusting like this don't even don't even put the guan Yu on the wall it was like look at he's down to 56.5 million and his kill points it went up by like what 2 million something like that like an embarrassingly bad trade and i honestly don't even think i i had to log off for a quick second i don't know if they did a second rally or if they just started a swarm but like look at this look at the white numbers here like even a matilda is only taking what is that 617 like there's just it doesn't even matter boys it doesn't even matter just swarm them down you know what i mean he's down to 51 million now and that's pretty much it that's pretty much gg here i am looking for a second rally report uh, or any rally report to be honest with you and i think i just missed it to be fair when this was happening i was i'll, I'll be honest i was getting a haircut okay i was getting a haircut so i could there's not like i'm gonna sit there on my phone so he's down to 50 million power this dude is getting zeroed and honestly having that low kill points with that many tier five units with a guan yu alex on the wall you kind of deserve to get zeroed if i'm being honest with you that's just how i feel so it is what it is gg this player lost what is it 23 million power from one if not maybe two rallies 
maybe two honestly I, I went through I don't think he took two rallies it might have just been one rally and some some swarms but that's going to be another GG player zeroed under the belt goodbye Alberto 31 and now we're finally moving on to the recording that I did on my computer which means the aspect ratio is fixed let's go everything looks a lot better now so here we have our next victim Michiko this is a 77.8 million power player who has only 231 million kill points so definitely not that impressive of an account if I'm being completely honest guys I mean those kill points not even a billion not even a billion and it's a little bit yikes okay let's take a look at the account here we can see that he has literally nothing on his commander view his highest power ever was 80.8 million power so still kind of close to his highest power ever almost no debt 2.5 million deads like what was that there's almost nothing there taking a look at the scout report you could see that he's got a hundred million food 93 million wood 268 million stone and 66 million gold with a decent garrison for your city you've got Charles Martel 5524 and a fully expertise Isong A. So again, pretty good city garrison. If I'm being honest, it's a little bit old, right? It is a little bit old. These are season one commanders, but most players don't invest in like their own city garrison. So it'll do honestly, it'll do. We could see 3.2 million units and you could see that we've got about 2 million of those units are tier five. Now, unfortunately, when I recorded this, I didn't scroll all the way down. So I don't know what the rest of the troops look like, but it's safe to assume that there's probably some siege in there and then the rest are going to be tier four so that's going to do it so anyway here comes the first rally from our boy burger we've got the attila i think this is another attila nevsky rally based on what i'm seeing down here so we've got the attila hits first and yes it is indeed a nevsky 231 baby oh my goodness this is an absolute clapper of a rally um also i see some players like over here it looks like you're not using a formation so what is going on there like no really no formation i mean it must be a farm account looking to steal these resources but either way you probably should, i mean it's free to set the reese like to set the you know you get five percent march speed or something you know like it's free you might as well put the formation on there anyway um you can see everyone's kind of spreading out here because they don't want to take the aoe from that uh that ysg and the Martel is doing the best he can to hold up against this uh this devastating rally from Burger, but really it ain't gonna do it, folks. It ain't gonna do it. There's just no there's no stopping the the Burger rally, especially not with an unmaxed Martel from you know KBK pre KBK one. All right, like this is not gonna happen, right? So anyway, once he hits red, we see the swarms uh, start coming in here, and yeah, I mean the white numbers are real low on those swarms, so like this dude is getting his cheeks like i said earlier getting clapped okay currently in the process of getting absolutely clap and we are at 66.3 million power after a single rally so very devastating stuff there i do believe that we are going to go ahead and do more than one rally on this player city i would hope so you probably don't want to zero them from 66 million if you can help it and yes indeed we've got a second rally hitting the kid michiko this is once again another attila but this time we've got attila Takeda. So I guess uh, maybe the strat here was to just fill the hospital with Attila Nevsky and then Attila Takeda to get all the kills to get all like the dead troops from the from the player. No idea there. But either way, uh, you can see that this dude is he is struggling. This is the struggle bus and he has officially boarded. OK, final stop on the struggle bus is a completely zeroed Michiko. He's down to 61 million already. You can see the Attila Takeda still popping off and the swarmers are already coming in. They're hungry for those kills. Maybe they want those resources. They know that this zeroing is coming. There's no way this player is coming online. He's down to basically zero troops as it is already super quick, super painless. Well, painless for us painful for him I mean that is that is a big old yikes if I'm being honest with you guys that is I mean whoo baby you don't you don't want to be offline when you're taking these rallies from burger like it's it, you're done so okay here are the swarms and they're just gonna clean it up I mean it doesn't even matter at this point he, he's he's dead he's dead you're dead you're dead like what are you gonna what are you gonna do not be dead like bro look at you you're, you're dead okay so anyway a couple swarms later and that's it the cleanup crew goes home they pack it up and they are out of their 52.5 million power another zeroing under the belts that's a 25 million power loss boys that's that's that hurts that's a big old fate changer anyway ladies and gentlemen moving on to the final zeroing of the day we have none other than x maddie x with a you know look look at this profile picture my man he is not a very friendly individual ladies and gentlemen he's got 91.3 million power 2.6 billion kill points and a lot of people would look at those kill points and compare it to his power and say like that those kill points not that impressive okay not that impressive and i'm gonna be honest here okay i have a very 
unpopular opinion when it comes to kill points but what matters most about kill points is when you got them okay if you got them three years ago I don't care if you have two billion kill points or if you have 10 billion kill points if you haven't gotten kill points in three years then that's that's not that impressive to me okay what matters is how quickly and how soon and how recently did you get those kill points did you participate in recent kvks yes or no but regardless you could see that uh he's a hog okay he's kind of thick he's kind of fat he's got 91 million pass a lot of power okay he's a big boy he's not super crack in status but like that's kind of a big boy okay and here we can take a look at the uh kill point breakdown most of it is from tier five units that's fine that's cool we like to see that here we can take a look at the highest power ever is currently what he's at okay 15 million dead troops on the account again like i said it, depending on when he got these kills and this power might be able to salvage it right like if this dude got all these kill points in one kvk like the last kvk you might say okay well we'll keep him around that's pretty good right but uh yeah anyway take a look at the commander view page you can see that he does actually have some recent and meta viable commanders he's got liu che henry alexander nevsky and juge leong so I mean these are like meta marches with 91 million power like this is actually probably going to be the best contender for defending his city that we've seen throughout this entire video so let's go ahead and see how it goes taking a look at the scout report we can see that okay he's got a decent garrison I mean we have Constantine expertise with Liu Che so I mean like this player could put up a pretty good fight not that many resources he's kind of broke okay he's kind of broke for having 91 million power to be honest with you and the player who scouted them was a farm account so we can't see the uh the reinforcements unfortunately but either way it don't matter we're hitting the city like doesn't matter no it doesn't we're gonna clap them okay we gonna clap them anyway the first rally comes in and it is hitting this is none other than once again Attila with Takeda and you can see that uh we got a pretty we got a pretty beefy Constantine here okay he is tanking those hits and this is definitely gonna be a play player that uh needs needs multiple reinforcements and multiple uh you know rallies to take this player's city down but he's not online so I mean like or or is he I don't know I know how this ends you don't know maybe he comes online and teleports away before we get the zeroing but uh I got a feeling that he's not gonna come online so he is hitting with that with that Liu Che I mean it is that sword is clapping okay it is clapping but like I said, it's a burger rally. Like, what are you going to do? If you're offline getting rallied by a burger, like, bro, just don't even log back in. Like, it's ogre. Okay. It, you're done. So, anyway, he's going to probably wake up to a couple of fate changers when he does come back, unfortunately for him. But we are going to, you know, farm a, a little bit of kill points before that happens. So, let's see this Luce hit. How is it going to go? Ooh, 34K. Not bad. That's, that's, uh, you know, almost as good as some of the Attila Takeda hits here. It's, it's better than the average one, but like, let's see what this one is. And 26.9. Okay. 15. All right. Not bad. Okay. So his skill shots are hitting harder than the white numbers. I'll give him that. That That's nice. That's cool. Sorry. I shouldn't say skill shots. I should say smite shots because he's not dealing skill damage here. But overall, I would say like, this is a decent garrison, especially if he has a majority, um, a majority of infantry in his city this is probably the way to go you get a ton of infantry stats from Constantine but also don't forget that the expertise on Constantine is universal stats okay 15 percent attack and five percent defense is for any troop type not just infantry so that is also worth noting but really like the health here like you're gonna want to have this in a mainly infantry garrison anyway hitting for 15k there with the uh Liu Che definitely losing a little bit of steam if I'm being honest with you now that that, that city is starting to feel like it's hurting okay it's looking like it's hurting just a little bit and we are I mean we're almost on yellow to be honest so this is again a player that is I mean this is definitely the most uh powerful city that we've rallied so far in the video and and that that just goes to show um but yeah a slow burn here I mean that's pretty much always how Attila Takeda is uh it's never gonna be the fastest to zero a player but it's gonna be the most consistent it's gonna hurt more than most other rallies if I'm being honest with you guys so here we go this is uh this is we're about to wrap up the first rally here and I'm curious to see you know how much power does Maddie lose in a single rally report I would like to hear you guys comment down below I'm really curious and jumping forward just a couple of seconds and you'll see that we start to get the swarm gang they get real excited they get real antsy and there it is ladies and gentlemen we got the big old swarms coming in here finishing off Maddie for the first rally on the city it will not be the last of course he is down to 77.4 million after the rally is over 
and uh the rally and the swarms bring them down to 77 almost flat almost even so from 91 million power down to 77 million power in a single rally and swarm attempt absolutely insane taking a look at the report here we see oh my god ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we got a clapper here we got a clapper here we got a big old clapper we see 300k farm units dead basically is nothing here and 1 million deads for the garrison 28 million kill points to 5.4 million kill points actually insane taking a look at what was in the city you can see that remember the scout report before was done by a farm account so we didn't know how many troops he had but we can see it's 1.2 million tier five this looks like they were playing as rome rome is pretty much only good for what arc of osiris i think that's like literally no one uses rome so i don't know what what the strat was there but bro is using rome we have 1.1 million t5 archers and 1 million t5 cavalry handful of tier four nothing else there so honestly pretty good troop distribution we don't see like tier five siege or anything in total 3.7 million units in the city so yeah definitely uh a big old big old loss of rooney big old loss lots of deads here De definitely an unfortunate scenario to be in if you are x maddie x but uh it doesn't end there because the second rally is coming in hot taking a look at the troop buffs by the way in case you were wondering we do see the first constantine buff unlock so they did get 20 percent infantry attack and five percent normal damage not sure why he doesn't have the double maybe they ran out of relic coins I, I don't really know what the strat would be there but typically like probably want the double okay you, you probably want the double on constantine once it came out it was it was pretty much worth it i got it for my sunset canyon i think it's good so i don't know he doesn't have it though so there you go uh, we can see again we only have one relic on attila unfortunately burger did not get takeda's relic yet but of course he will very soon i'm sure that's just how uh that's just how whales do it you know eventually they come around to max and everything and you can see that the troop buffs I mean it is what it is it's burger he's gonna have more stats than you period no matter what so just to get used to it you know what i mean anyway second rally coming in here he starts at 77 million power so we'll see what he looks like when it uh when it's all over when it's all said and done when it's ogre and it looks like we're starting the swarms early i mean that, that pretty much was right away like they instantly started swarming i'm not sure what the strat was there i'm not i don't know if that's a good idea but i think these guys just i mean this sr player I think they just wanted to they wanted to get this done they just wanted this dude to burn i don't think they really cared um so yeah i don't know was that the best strategy probably not i mean 77 million probably not a great person to swarm down uh, i don't know if you guys have noticed so far in the video but this is not in kbk so these players don't have like the 400 000 troop capacity or anything like that like these are you know these are little little baby marches right so not sure if the swarm was necessary that early but they went ahead and did it anyway they wanted to get this dude zeroed and uh it looks like it i mean it worked it worked we'll see how this looks uh from from a remaining power perspective but they do continue to swarm and again probably not the best strat if i'm being honest with you guys probably not you know probably don't want to keep swarming at that point but they're not stopping they're not backing off they're not waiting for a third rally nope no sir they're just gonna bring him down to nothing and feel good about it so there it is taking a look at the second rally report while they swarm him down you could see another 756,000 dead troops for good old X Matty X and way fewer deads from our rally this time. And you could see 15 million kill points on our side, 1.2 million kill points for the city. And uh, it's a wrap. It's a GG. I mean, the swarms are taking care of it. They're just going to make sure that he, he knows what's up. And uh, yeah, right now he's at 59 million. So a couple more rounds of swarms. Again, not sure why we didn't just do another another rally it could be the case that we suspected he would come online um so that that could be why they just wanted to quickly finish this off and just get him zeroed so there it is Ooh, blows the kiss as they walk away it looks like he is at 56.3 million ladies and gentlemen if i didn't know any better i would say our boy maddie is uh potentially zeroed from 91 million down to 56.3 gg that's it maddie's burning he is zero and that's everybody that is everyone that we zeroed in the past couple of days and i said earlier in the video that there would be a little bit of a plot twist to this video and that is for those of you that are keen if you were aware if you were paying attention and listening to what i was saying you may have picked up on what that plot twist might be but allow me to pull up dictionary.com ladies and gentlemen dead weight Ooh, dead weight man that is the topic of the video here as you can see we are speaking metaphorically these players don't actually weigh a lot well i don't know how much they weigh in real life 
but the second definition here is what's important a heavy or oppressive burden or responsibility now you might be looking at some of those earlier burns and you're like omniarch they had 56 million how is that dead weight well i mean you saw like with the guy who wasn't even tier five that player had like what 10 million power to lose and if you do that for 10 different accounts that's 100 million power for your kingdom and would you rather have 10 tier four players or would you rather have another 100 million power whale in your kingdom they could be basically the same okay at least as far as matchmaking goes like it's a hundred million power in the kingdom either way and so when you look at how kingdoms operate these days if your kingdom is a you know a seed kingdom or an imperium kingdom typically kingdoms will be try, they will try to be as lean as they possibly can be and sort of get rid of a lot of that power that's just not contributing to the kingdom at least not recently right and so if you are in a competitive kingdom or at least a kingdom that is like semi-competitive that tries to at least win kbks and things like that then you should expect a sort of bare minimum requirement from you as a player based on your power level right i mean that's pretty straightforward and i think a lot of people and this is why it's a little bit of a controversial topic right some people are they get it they understand why dead weight has to be zeroed and other people don't get it right i think a lot of new players or more casual players they they wake up one day and they see their city was zeroed and they don't understand right they don't get why was i zeroed okay and so for them obviously it's personal and they they it's a it's a controversial topic people don't like to be zeroed obviously especially from your home kingdom and it makes sense until you really think about it okay now if you were zeroed for no reason that sucks i totally get it but usually and i would say most kingdoms that zero dead weight they're pretty lenient when it comes to at least telling you beforehand right like the players that you saw in this video i'm not part of leadership okay i'm not but i do see leadership constantly sending out kingdom mails after every kvk they're saying guys if you didn't reach your kill points we're going to be reaching out to you right they, they always say this and usually there's a, a one two or three strike you're out policy right it's never just one kvk you don't perform you're zero that's never how it is and in most kingdoms even competitive kingdoms typically you don't get zeroed for one kvk being absent right or one kvk where you don't perform up to par because people realize that like there's people have real life obligations sometimes you're not just going to be there for every kvk that's just life that's just how it is right so most kingdoms that zero dead weight are very lenient and if you get zeroed because you were dead weight then it's kind of your own fault right like most king and again i'm not saying if you get zeroed randomly that sucks i'm with you on that one that does suck if they don't tell you beforehand that sucks but from my experience most kingdoms will at least give you a courtesy warning like hey like look you are not performing to our requirements so you can either migrate or you know you could perform better next kvk but if you don't you either need to perform or get out that's how most kingdoms operate and so if you find yourself in a position where you get zeroed by your own kingdom just know that you probably were given multiple different opportunities to leave the kingdom or to perform better and if you didn't then you shouldn't be surprised when you get zero because kvk is all about matchmaking right if you get matched up against kingdoms where you know you have all this inflated power and then you just cannot you know form a ball in the open field like you're not going to ever win kvks right and that sucks for the players that are actually trying and it's not fair to those players who are putting all their troops on the line meanwhile we have all these 70 80 90 million power players that you know don't have as many kill points and they're not contributing right now some of you may look at that last player they were 91 million power 2.6 billion kill points and you know you might say well those kill points aren't that high for that power and honestly like i said before i, I think that it really depends right I again my philosophy on dead weight is a little bit it's evolved over time right because back in the day you used to just look at someone's power and their kill points and you could know immediately like oh they're dead weight right you, you would just know but these days that's not the case because the game is so old now that you can have players that have 7 billion kill points and yet they haven't gotten kill points in two or three years right like that's just the truth they went full on free to play casual mode and they just slog in and farm every day for two years and everyone knows that that's dead weight right i don't care if you have seven eight nine billion kill points if you haven't contributed to the kingdom in one two three four kvks well you're dead weight now regardless of your kill point count like that's just how it is right so the the new way that a lot of kingdoms will you know determine if somebody is dead weight is 
not what you've done but what you have done for me lately okay that is what's most important and that's why i haven't gotten zero right like you might look at my kill points and be like oh well those aren't that's not that that's not that high omniarch and it's like yeah sure it's, it's not that high and i'm never never shy about it you can come look at my kill points that's public information baby but the truth is i got over 40 million kills in my last kvk i got over 33 million kills in the kvk before that and even in previous kvks where i didn't get 30 million kills i still met the requirements of my kingdom and that's really what it comes down to you have to find yourself a kingdom that you actually fit in with right if you are looking to play you know in 1960 well you gotta figure out how you can perform on their level right because if you're not gonna perform on their level like they might just zero you, you they, they're not going to have dead weight in their kingdom they just can't that that is 1960 like it is what it is so if you find yourself in a scenario where you cannot contribute to your kingdom's requirements then you should migrate you should leave right because the you're, it's not a good fit for you dead weight in one kingdom might not be considered dead weight in another kingdom so at the end of the day guys it is just a mobile game and i never take these things that seriously but i did want to give you guys just my sort of opinion on what i think about dead weight and sort of you know show off what happens when you know you don't contribute to your kingdom for multiple kvks in a row you get zeroed i mean it just, that's just the truth that is the reality if you are going to be in a competitive kingdom and if you don't want to compete then you should move to a kingdom that is less competitive a c seed or dc kingdom where you can basically play farmville collectathon and just get all the commanders and do whatever you want or maybe you migrate there for a few seasons and then you migrate to a better kingdom when you have the chance to play the game a little bit more anyway guys i would love to hear from you in the comment section below what do you think about dead weight in kingdoms do you think that kingdoms should be zeroing their own players or not again i think once you realize exactly why it's happening then you realize oh okay that makes a lot of sense but i think a lot of players still don't get why it happens and that's why they are that's why it's a controversial topic but hopefully i've cleared some of that up for you in this video and again while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out to the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it subscribe while you're down there and click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace